but first I want to open up. My name's Allison. I'm um, a member of Solidarity, which is a revolutionary socialist anti-racist feminist organization. Um, I'm a member of the Green Party because we're going to fuck capitalism with every tool in the toolbox, and I'm here with two comrades from the IWW. And I want to dedicate this poem uh, to a group of people who were out on January 20th of 2017 protesting the inauguration of Donald Trump. They're going to be on trial on April 17th. There were mass arrests that day, and every single person that is on trial on April 17th is a member of the IWW, and the U.S. government is looking at all of IWW, their bylaws, and everything that these people are doing to organize against all the different forms of oppression that the system is putting on us, that, post, that ocean poem before you said was absolutely beautiful. So, um, we need to develop and build more solidarity and organize between us because this shit is real. It's impacting us every single fucking day and it did not start on that day that man was elected. It has been going on since the inception of this country. Word. So, I need to unlock the phone. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, so this, is, um, this was written in the 1800s because this shit has been going on a long time. So, um, and it's called, To Those Born Later. I, I truly live in dark times. Frank's speech is naive. A smooth forehead suggests insensitivity. The man who laughs simply has not yet heard the terrible news. What kind of times are these when to talk about trees is almost a crime because it implies silence about so many whores? When the man over there calmly crossing the street is already perhaps beyond the reach of his friends who are in need. It is true that I still earn my daily bread, but believe me, that's only an accident. Nothing I do gives me the right to eat my fill. By chance I've been spared, but if my luck breaks, I'm lost. They say to me, eat and drink, be glad you have it. But how can I eat and drink if I snatch what I eat from the starving and my glass of water belongs to someone dying of thirst? Yet, I eat and I drink. I would also like to be wise. In the old books it says what wisdom is. To shun the strife of the world and to live out your brief time without fear. Also, to get along without violence. To return good for evil. Not to fulfill your desires, but to forget them. I account, is accounted as wise. All of this I cannot do. Truly, I live in dark times. I came to the cities in a time of disorder, when hunger reigned. I came among men in time of revolt, and I rebelled with them. So passed my time given to me on earth. I ate my food between battles. I lay down to sleep among murderers. I practiced love carelessly, and I had little patience for nature's beauty. So I passed my time, given to me on earth. All roads led to the mire in my time. My tongue betrayed me to the butchers. There was little I could do, but those in power sat safer without me. That was my hope. So I passed my time, given to me on earth. Our forces were slight. Our goal lay far in the distance, clearly visible, though I myself was unlikely to reach it. So I passed my time, given to me on earth. You, you who will emerge from the flood in which we have gone under, bring to mind when you speak of our failings, bring to mind also the dark times that you have escaped. Changing countries more often than our shoes, we went through the class wars, disparaging when there was only injustice, no outrage. And yet we realized, hatred, even the meanness contorts the features. Anger, even against injustice, makes the voice hoarse. Oh, we wanted to be prepared. We wanted to prepare the ground for friendship. Could not ourselves be friendly. But you, when the time comes at last, when man is helper to man, think of us with forbearance.